Dylan. Steve. Hey YouTube, Cindy Steve back with another video. And it's been a while since I've done a pickups video. Um, just let you know what I've been playing really and what I've been picking up. And bearing in mind, I haven't done a video like this in about four or five months. It's going to be quite a long one, I think. Um, I think I'm going to do it in two parts because I've had obviously Christmas presents. I had a birthday just over a month ago. Um, yeah, I've, I've picked up so much, it's been ridiculous. So I think I'm going to do it in two parts. Um, sort of a few modern pickups. Um, and I think I'll keep all the Amiga game pickups separate because I must have about 50 odd Amiga games. Um, but first up, I've got this lovely CD TV. Excuse the monitor for being on its side, I'll show you why in a minute. But this is fantastic, a lovely little bargain, I think. This CD TV, I've had one of these before, but I didn't have the all important keyboard. Um, it's got the floppy drive in the back there as well. I mean, I don't really need it, I just love it, I just love the way it looks. Um, and as I said, it didn't cost me that much either. I would just love to have the black CD TV monitor for it. I believe Mr. Bads has got one. So if you want to let me have it, Paul, just let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll have it off you in a second. And just like most other people in the last sort of six months, I've been playing a bit of Xeno Crisis. Absolutely fantastic game, this. So I backed this game. And I don't know if many people know, but you can actually access the backer menu by going to the options, holding B, C, right, and start. And there I am. Backer 135, Cine Steve. Such a cool game, it really is. Um, can't wait for the Dreamcast version to be released so we can play it properly in Twin Stick. Or if somebody wants to do some uh, pad hacks, that'd be a good idea as well. Fantastic game, absolutely love it. Um, this is my only real modern pickup, um, Gundamoniums on the PS4. To be honest, I haven't even played it yet. I've had this about three or four months. I bought it used. I got a good deal with it actually. I think it was only about 20 quid. I think it usually goes for a little bit more than that. Um, but no, I haven't even played it. I've literally just put it on today. It looks awesome to be honest. I'm gonna definitely give it, an, like, give it a go, give it a few goes. I was say, I don't know too much about it, other than that. It's a uh, horizontal shooter. And now it looks fantastic. Be giving that a go. So going on to a bit of uh, hardware I've bought. In fact, two bits of hardware. Top one being a Super Emotia. Now what this does, it's a downscaler. So it'll take 480i and downscale it to 240p. Fantastic little bit of kit. A few options on there for interlace mode, anti-flicker, underscan, power and NTSC. So basically you've got VGA going in and BNC coming out. And basically what I'm using it for is the Xbox 360 JTAG. So I can put VGA in, BNC out, and it's going to my new Extron point switcher which I'm getting my finger in the way it's uh, 16 in 16 out now obviously 16 out is a little bit overkill but I wanted a few extra consoles hooked up so yeah I bought that and I've got again I've got a good deal on it um, I think it was about 80 quid which is a pretty decent deal so basically now Coming back over to why my Philips monitor's in vertical mode, if I just click this button there, we've got Mushihima Sama in tape mode coming from the Xbox 360. And it looks fantastic in 240p. Actually, in fact, I probably should have had it on the Sony BVM. You can't really see too much of the scan lines. But it looks, it looks awesome. It looks really good. Really happy with it. If 
for those that don't know, Mushihi Masama is a bullet held from cave. It's a little bit like um, a pidia in the sense that, I mean, <laughs> the style of it, it's like sort of insects and stuff like that that you're shooting. Um, I mean, obviously a pidia is a uh, horizontal game, horizontal shooter, but I don't know, it just sort of reminds me of a, a bullet hell, a pidia. But yeah, really cool. I've been playing quite a lot of the JTAG recently with this um, Super Motion. Awesome bit of kit. But moving on to the arcades. It's a bit of a mess in my room at the moment, if I'm honest. Don't like it being all messy like this, but still got Mad Planet, so I'll just do a little rundown. Final Fight I've been playing a little bit today. Um, still a proper credit muncher, rock hard game. But this is uh, one of my other pickups. I picked up a original 1942 PCB and I've got it running in the e-grip awesome game I love it it's just a, like a pure shooter pure pick up and play shooter absolutely love it um, it's not a jammer game I had to buy an adapter which was only about 20 quid from America and it was here within a week I was well, well impressed with that and then moving on um, I've got Super Bishy Bashy. I can't remember what I had last time. I know I was sort of switched between Hyper and Super. I've just got Super at the moment. And then obviously, me yeah, one's still going strong. Um, as I say, I had a birthday not too long ago. And had a few uh, a few Vacas and a few Tubers round. And that one was the only game out of, like my only arcade game that gave me a few little issues. Like, I mean, it was on for a good sort of six to eight hours straight and it started sort of having sync issues but a simple uh, off and on job in it was absolutely fine but other than that I said all the other arcades really strong really happy with those but on to uh, the next pick up I've picked up this Another arcade cab. Now it's really uh, tight in here, so I can't really show too much of it. And obviously, I'm going to get glare. But it's a Zachariah cab, a generic arcade Zachariah cab. Um, but it's licensed track and field, so it's an original track and field panel. Um, I've literally stripped it. I've got. I've got all these bits for it, all the metal trim, all the coin door, but I've stripped it all because it all needs uh, repainting. But when I bought it, it didn't have a monitor, so I've, I've picked up a monitor for it. I had about a 10 hour round trip down to Cornwall and back, picking up a 19 inch monitor, because the original idea was to put a broadcasting monitor in there, but it just wouldn't fit, it's just not deep enough the cab um, so yeah when I got a, uh, a 19 inch monitor and the monitor it looks fantastic and I must thank Roger Cantor and Gav um, they were they were bang on it when <laughs> they came around for my birthday and uh, I had the monitor just sort of sitting there and I was like come on let's get it in let's get it working uh, massive thank goes to Lee Monster Mug as well he, he tested the board for me and changed the battery for me and done a few other little modifications and say ready for the for the broadcasting monitor but didn't work out but what do you think it's uh that's that needs a bit of work let's say that that box there that's where um all the bits are for it all the coin door and everything for it but i don't know what to do with it yeah i got it pretty cheap um the only thing that's missing is the back door the there's a pretty generic marquee that goes in there and the uh cardboard bezel that sits in there other than that it's all there I find the buttons are quite stiff so I, I want to put the new new switches in there but you can see I knocked uh, a retro Dave round and uh, he put a little score on there <laughs> he means he's done permanent damage with the amount of he's played this game um, but yeah I don't, I don't want to get rid of it but I just don't have room for it ideally I wouldn't mind a, uh, a double garage but yeah, let us know what you think. As I say, it was a bit rough and ready, but it was a bargain. I mean, this this thing doesn't owe me any more than sort of just over 300 quid. 
gonna say I'm gonna do the work myself. I'm just gonna do all the the, uh, the painting of the trim, take all the rust off, loose paint. But anyway, let's set up a tripod and uh, show a few of my pickups. Right, let's crack on with the video. So, um, I just wanted to congratulate Scott Brand and uh, Paul, Mr. Bads, for winning YouTube for the month. Um, when was Scott? I think Scott won it in December and Paul won it in January. And they both nominated me for their picks, which I say, really humbled, really, uh, really flattered. Um, I didn't plug it last time when Scott did it, um, and I haven't really plugged it this time either, but if anyone does want to give me a vote, I'll leave the link to the Gaming Off The Grid video below, and all you have to do is vote Cine Steve in the bottom if you want. But I think Danester and and uh, Dad and Lads Gaming are sort of running away a bit, but any votes, I'm happy with any sort of votes, don't really mind. Um, but obviously I had a uh, birthday as well, and I had a little meet up, um, not huge, um, I don't know, about a dozen, 15 people come around, and uh, a few bearing some gifts, so uh, I'll, I'll get them out of the way first, I say get them out of the way, I say really, really grateful. So uh, Pete, on a retro tip, what a legend, brought me a, uh, a Zenon shirt, so well happy with that. I don't really wear gaming like t-shirts very often but I should do really but definitely my size. Well happy with that. Cheers Pete. And uh, also got me tickets to play Margate which is this week. Funnily enough really looking forward to that. I haven't been there in a couple of years. In fact I don't think it's been there in a couple of years but it's only down the road for me so yeah really looking forward to that. And uh, Elliot, everyone knows Beeps, Brian, um, his son Elliot got me this uh, Japanese mug. Such a little legend he is. He, he loves his gaming. Um, every time I see him, he's always like, such a lovely little kid. I say little kid, I mean he's like 18, 19 now, but really good lad. I don't know how he's ended up, how he has really with, with Beeps as a dad, but uh, <laughs> what a little legend. Like great little family, him and, him and Cody. Um, well happy, well happy with that. Thanks a lot, Elliot. I know he watches. Um, Favourite card has to go to this Asteroids one by Poptastic. He's a, a Vaca. Got great arcade collection. I love that little Asteroids card. Um, then we've got massive chocolates from Zach. Drop that. Massive uh, Lindor. I love Lindor sweets. So yeah, massive thanks for that as well, Zach. Um, again, fantastic arcade collection. Um, yeah, fantastic cave collection. He's got loads of candies and like, like, he's got like a full set of cave PCBs. It's worth a fortune, but absolute legend. Um, and Chun, Chun came down. I've heard he makes these. It's like a like a fridge magnet. Neo Geo Land. Really cool. Well happy with that. I, have to, I might stick that on one of the candies actually. And uh, thanks to uh, Retro Dave as well. Retro Dave came down with uh, with Gav and Bonehead and got me a nice bottle of uh, Disarano that I'm, I'm back quarter of the way through it now. Don't mind myself a bit of Disarano. So yeah, that was my birthday. So massive thanks for anyone that, that came down. Obviously I didn't invite loads and I sort of kept it fairly local. Um, but yeah, all the arcades were pretty solid all the way through. Apart from, I think I said earlier about the outrun, the sink lost a little bit, but literally quick power on off and on works great so let's move on to Christmas this is how long I haven't done a pickups video for it's ridiculous oh anyone wondering as well in the hunt and all them Game Boy games that my wife gave a tenner for I actually went back there and gave them an extra 40 quid um, hoping they had other stuff but I haven't had anything back yet but I think that's more than fair I can sleep at night now um, so yeah first Christmas present was this Mega Drive book. It's um, like an unofficial collecting guide for PAL games. So basically you've got all the games in there and you just sort of tick them off. Whether you've got like the cartridge, the manual or complete. I haven't started using it yet, but it's, it's going to come in handy. I mean, I mean, I imagine there's a few titles in there I may never get, but no, really cool sort of unofficial book that. Really happy with that. And then we've got 
for my Astro City Sega Ashtray for the coins. So yeah, I haven't, this is what I mean. I've kept these all wrapped up purely because I wanted to chuck it in a pickups video. I mean, I could, could have quite easily used it and then took it back, but then I probably would have forgotten. Um, and then, really happy with this one as well. Xeno Crisis on vinyl. I mean, I love the art on this. Obviously, as I was saying earlier, I backed the game. Um, in fact, this is my uh, backed full complete game as well, which came with uh, came with a few little extras that I'm not sure the normal release came with. But you get the the pin badge. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if if, if they all came with this, but it also came with. Uh, some cards with art on it and some stickers as well but yeah I've, I've, I, from what from what I was aware of that, that didn't come with the, the the normal release I think that was more of a backers release but so correct me if I'm wrong but yeah the vinyl um yeah it looks great sounds great um I absolutely love the Dunes area 3 track I'm obsessed with it um a little bit of a shame they didn't go with like a limited edition colour vinyl is just um, a simple black but as I say not overly worried it's a really good addition to my vinyl collection and that was from the uh, brother-in-law brother and sister-in-law so well happy with that and then sort of my big present for the uh, for that Christmas was a Everdrive Game Boy X5 um, I really, really want the uh, a modded Game Boy with the um, the new screen next. I think. So yeah, happy with that as well. So another EverDrive. I think that's like how many EverDrives I've got. Well, flashcards in general. I think I've got about a dozen flashcards now. It's, it's got a bit ridiculous, but at least all the games there at hand. And um, right, I think that's Christmas done. Yeah, I'm sure that's Christmas done. But onto the pickups. Um, I say the Amiga pickups I'm going to leave for another video because there's loads of them. But I've picked up a few games. Um, funnily enough, when I bought the EverDrive, that, well, when I got the Game Boy EverDrive, I thought actually I would love a modded Game Boy Advance because I could use it in that as well. And I ended up getting uh, this one here. Sort of a red and white. It, 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 it looks great, the screen is brilliant. I've got my Game Boy Advance ever driving it at the moment. Let's start a game up. Um, I don't know, my sort of go-to game's always been WarioWare. But the screen, it looks fantastic. You can see, that's gonna pick, up, pick it up. Look, it's so vibrant. Um, admittedly, the D-pad, the D-pad is definitely not as good on this as uh, an original Game Boy Advance. So I might look, I don't know if it's, it's an easy swap out, but I might look into that. But yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I recommend these all day long. So from that, we've got, so I've got a huge amount of other pickups, to be honest. Um, I've got a couple of PlayStation 1 games. And this was off the back of, I watched, it was a Kim Justice video about the arcade releases, sort of arcade ports on the PS1. Um, so I went with Pong, never minded a bit of Pong, and apparently it's a, it's a decent port for the PlayStation. And to be honest, I'm guessing it got a full release. This is like the best of the Infograms version, which I don't even think I really realised. I think that was a, um, a music purchase. I didn't actually see what I was getting, but so cheap. I think that was something like something stupid, like three quid delivered, not ridiculously cheap. And then the other game being Gallagher, or Galaga. Destination Earth. I haven't tried either of them yet, but this is I know in really good condition. So uh, definitely give those a go. If there's anyone that knows me, love knows I love my arcade ports. Now my only Mega Drive edition and it, to be honest, it's been a while since I bought a Mega Drive game but I was down uh, where was I level up gaming 
and saw that they had a nice EA release Team USA basketball one. It's got six quid on there, but I know he gave it to me for a fiver. All complete and in pretty good nick. And the case, the case is always nice. One. I mean, it, it, we know how, how knackered the EA boxes can get. So for a fiver, I'm going to be picking that up all day long. I haven't even tried it. Probably won't. Although I don't, I don't mind a bit of basketball. I might, I might give it a go. Now, this was my last pickup. This actually only came today. It's a game I don't know too much about. I was watching uh, a Metal Jesus Rocks video, which I don't watch many, but I don't mind when he does the uh, the pickups videos with Reggie. I do actually quite like those. And this was, it would have only been last Friday. So what I love about them videos is to see what they've got and then going on eBay a few days later and then just see how the, the, the price sort of goes up. So they've got quite a big influence on everyone sort of uh, getting what they've got. But I got this really quickly. It was the first game they showed. It's um, B Team Metal Cartoon Squad. And it did actually look really good. It looks sort of like an isometric metal slug. And this is this is still sealed. Still sealed. And how much was it? I think, again, really cheap. It was like six quid delivered. I thought for that, I'll definitely give it, give it a go. It looked pretty good. Animations looked all good. So... Uh, if you've played it, let us know what you think. Um, and then moving on, this is going to be the last one now. So I knew I didn't have too many pickups with, uh, with I say, with all the Amiga stuff I keep picking up. But I got an absolute bargain with um, a Nintendo bundle. Um, again, long time since I bought NES stuff. But Facebook Marketplace, it was, it was, it was mad really. It was, I think there was about eleven games. I think I might have got rid of two of them and the, the original NES itself, which was a little bit temperamental with um, with the the pins, the cartridge. Uh, what, what is it? A 60, 56 pin, whatever you are. Yeah, that was a bit loose and it wasn't particularly reading carts very well. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting rid of that and I think it was like Super Mario 2, which I've already got, and possibly another game. I, I think I sold it for about 35 40 quid something like that but the whole bundle itself i say come up on facebook marketplace and it, the guy wanted 20 quid for it now i thought it was going to be one of those ones where it says 20 quid but actually no it's it's um it's sort of pm for price or whatever but anyway it, it said 20 quid and now obviously new fa facebook marketplace you can make offers so it said 20 quid so I, I said is it still available and then made an offer of 40 quid so sort of doubled what his asking price was and he was sort of over the moon with it. And I couldn't believe it really because, as I say, it, it was a ridiculous bundle. I was, I'm going to show you the games I've kept. But bear in mind, there was um, Turtles, Hyperstone Heist for the Mega Drive randomly in there. That It was a bit bashed up, but changed the box, sold that for, I think I got about 80, 90 quid for it. Something like that. And with the NES as well, again, I think I got about 130 back, something like that for them two bits that I got rid of and I kept these games. I made something like 70 quid profit and uh, all these games are now free. So, um, right, the games, that's what you want to see. And I don't know too much about a lot of these games, but Track and Field 2 on the NES, I'd never played it. Um, and obviously when I was trying it, I played a little bit of this and I thought it was brilliant. I was playing archery on there. So Retro Dave, I know you've hands are completely knackered with uh, the arcade cab we should really be playing some track and field on the nes really good really good little game um next up we've got uh micro machines this was another one i tried and i was actually pretty surprised with how good it was to be fair on the nes um i played it a ton on the uh on the mega drive a really good game i thought that was a really good uh really good version for the NES's capabilities. Next up, we've got, and I say some of them even come with uh, the old dust covers. Um, Gradius, great little shooter. And I do like a bit of Gradius, and I say some of these are in, in really good nick. Some of them, I say just some, like all of them are pretty like acceptable. Um, and I, to be, I haven't even cleaned any of them up yet. I, I think I cleaned the contacts when trying them, but I haven't sort of got any isopropyl on the uh, on the carts just to clean them up. I mean, this one looks quite nice. Don't know anything about the game. Solstice. 
never played it. No idea. No idea about that one. Now this one I noticed, um, it, it's a little bit pricey on CEX. That's what I'll do. I'll chuck them all on CEX just to see how much they are. Because um, usually the more expensive they are, the better the game is sometimes. Not necessarily how rare, but how sought after. But this one, a Konami game, Metal Gear. Again, no, absolutely nothing about it. But it's really nice. I mean, the label's really nice. That's how I, do. I do like... NES games, I really do. I mean, I've, if I've got in my collection, I don't know, probably about, I mean, with this lot now, probably the best part of 70 to 80, something like that. And I do keep thinking about the ones I really like, selling off the ones I might never play and then buying the ones I really like boxed. But we'll see on that. And then next up, another Konami game, Castlevania. Very highly rated series. Don't know too much about what the NES version's like, but I'll give it a go. Again, label's a little bit creased at the bottom, but obviously I'm not going to be complaining with what, how much I've got them for. Now this one I haven't tried yet. Again, I've got another Nintendo protection sleeve, but it's Star Wars. Now this is the worst cart condition by far, and there's something rattling around in there. No idea what. Did it have a battery? Again, I will undo it. I've got, um, I know I've got the bit to undo it somewhere. I'll have to dig it out. But yeah, that's the only one I haven't tried yet. So that doesn't sound very good. And again, no idea if it's any good, the game. But I don't, <laughs> no idea if it's going to work or not. But this is the, uh, I'd say this is probably the best or maybe the most sought after game of the lot. And it's Metroid. And I've never played the original Metroid. Uh, to be honest, I've never really played any Metroid, to be honest. I know it's a really highly rated series. But yeah, what what an absolute bargain. Um, definitely going to give them games a, a, a proper good going. But um, that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to keep it as fairly short as that. Um, as I say, thanks again, Paul and Scott, for nominations. Really, yeah, really happy with that. Um, obviously, I didn't win the first one, but... <laughs> um, as I say, I didn't plug it, and as I, I'm not going out, well out of my way to plug this one either. I mean, if uh, it, as I say, it is what it is. If if I win, I win. If I don't, I'm happy because the other channels are really good. I know um, Ash is up for it. Ash has got a great channel. I've watched him for years. Um, massive Amiga collector like myself. Um, obviously, Dainster, the top fella, top guy. Got a lot of time for Dainster, and and Dad's and Lads gaming. I don't know too well, but I've. I've when did I? I spoke to him a few, a few months ago. I think on, uh, I think it was on Instagram. He, he sort of reached out. So yeah, good luck to them too. I think it's a bit of a two horse race. So good luck. But anyway, until next time, a mega video coming up. Maybe next week. I might even film it now and then show it next week. So if I'm wearing the same top, that'll be why. But anyway, until next time, YouTube. I'll see you soon.